good morning all in uh, today's class on functional analysis we are going to discuss validity of closed graph theorem and open mapping theorem we are going to show that closed graph theorem and open mapping theorem may not hold if the normed spaces x and y or x or y are not banach spaces the closed graph theorem and open mapping theorem may not hold if the normed spaces x and or 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 y are not banach spaces so we give we give an example example let x equal to y equal to c not not with the norm sup norm we know that c not not is not a banach space for x equal to x of 1 x of 2 etc in x where x is c not not let f from x to y be defined by you know that y is also x f of x of j this j into x of j for j is equal to 1 2 etc then f is linear f is linear map from x to y also f is closed we we can prove that f is closed since let x n converges to x in x and f of x n converges to y in y so we show that y equal to f of x show that y equal to f of x since x n converges to x for every fixed j equal to 1 2 etc x n of j converges to x of j as n tends to infinity so that j x n of j that is equal to f of x n of j by definition this converges to j x of j since x n of j converges to x of j so it's because x n of j converges to x of j that is f of x n of j converges to y of j and f of x n of j converges to j x of j that is y of j equal to j x of j and you know j x of j is f of x of j that is y equal to f of x so this shows that f is closed however f is not continuous since if we let x n equal to 0 0 etc 0 1 0 etc 0 etc one occurs only in the nth entry we have norm of x n sup norm of x n is supremum modulus of x of j such that j is equal to 1 2 etc so this is one because supremum of 0 1 is 1 but supremum of f of x n this is equal to supremum of modulus of 
j x of j such that j equal to 1 2 etc you know that this is actually equal to supremum of when j is 1 1 x of 1 is 1 into 0 2 x of 2 2 into 0 etc modulus of n x of n remaining are also 0 so this is actually equal to n into x of n is 1 so this is 1 so this is n and this tends to infinity as n tends to infinity therefore f is not continuous by 6.2 that is close to graph theorem does not hold that is closed graph theorem does not hold if x and y are not Banach spaces same example can be used to show that open mapping theorem does not hold for which you consider the inverse map the inverse map f inverse defined from y to x defined by f inverse of y of j is equal to j the component of f of f inverse y of j is y of j by j y belongs to x so j is equal to 1 2 etc you know that x is equal to y here both are c naught naught then this is continuous then f inverse is continuous since supnorm of f inverse of y this is equal to supremum modulus of y of j by j so j is equal to 1 2 etc so this is clearly less than or equal to supremum modulus y of j such that j is equal to 1 2 etc so this is equal to supnorm of y that is supnorm of f inverse of y is less than or equal to supnorm of y this implies f inverse is continuous the fourth f inverse is a closed linear map which is a surjective you know that f inverse is linear f inverse is closed since f is closed and it is a linear map since f inverse is continuous but since f is not continuous for open set e in x f inverse of e is not open therefore f inverse is not an open map that is even though f inverse is closed and surjective f inverse is not open that is open mapping theorem does not hold for f inverse therefore if x and y are not Banach spaces open mapping theorem does not hold Now we show that theorem 10.3 does not hold if x is not a Banach space. So for which we consider the example you let x is equal to c naught naught and let p from x to x be defined by p of x of 2j minus 1. 
So odd component of P of X, X of 2J minus 1 is defined as X of 2J minus 1 plus J into X of 2J and even components of P of X is defined as P of X of 2J is defined as 0 for X in X and J equal to 1, 2, etc. for P is a projection and we have a range space of P is set of all X in X such that X of 2J is 0 for j equal to 1, 2, etc. And zero space of P is set of all x in x such that x of 2j minus 1 plus j times x of 2j equal to 0 for j is equal to 1, 2, etc. So both space are close to subspaces of x. Both are close to subspaces of X. Hence, by 10.3, P is a closed map. However, P is not continuous. Since, if we let X and equal to 1, 1, etc., 1, 0, 0, etc., where 1 occurs in the first 2 n entries. First 2 n entries. Then supnorm of Xn is 1. But supnorm of P of Xn is n plus 1. This is because since you know p of xn of 1 is p of xn of 1 is actually 2 minus 1, 2 into 1 minus 1. So this is equal to by definition it is xn of 2 into 1 minus 1 plus 1 into x of 2 into 1. So this is xn of. So this is equal to xn of 2 minus 1 is 1 plus xn of 2. So this is xn of 1 is 1, xn of 2 is 1. So this is equal to 2. And and P of Xn of 2 is 0. P of Xn of 2 into 1. So this is, so that is equal to 0. Since P of Xn of 2j is 0. And P of Xn of 3 is P of Xn of 2 into 2 minus 1. So this is j is 2 here. So this is xn of 2 into 2 minus 1 plus 2 into xn of 2 into 2. So this is xn of 3 plus 2 into xn of 4. So this is equal to 1 plus 2. That is equal to 3. Proceeding similarly, you will get P of Xn of 4 is 0, etc. P of Xn of 2n minus 1. This is equal to X of 2n minus 1 plus n into X of 2n. You know X of 2n minus 1 is 1 plus n into X of 2n is 1. So this is 1 plus n. And P of Xn of 2 n equal to 0, 2 into n and p of xn of 
2n plus 1 this is equal to p of xn of 2n plus 2 minus 1 so this is p of xn of 2 into n plus 1 minus 1 so this is equal to xn of 2 into n plus 1 minus 1 plus n plus 1 into x of 2 into n plus 1. You know that this is xn of 2n plus 1 plus n plus 1 into x of xn of 2 into n plus 1. You know that after 2n entry, all elements are 0. So, this is 0 plus 0. So, this is equal to 0. Therefore, supremum of P of xn so is equal to supremum of modulus of 2, modulus of 0, modulus of 3, etc. 0, modulus of n plus 1, 0, 0, etc. So, this is equal to n plus 1. And this tends to infinity as n tends to infinity. Therefore, that is we have norm of xn, subnorm of xn is 1, but subnorm of p of xn is n plus 1. So, this tends to infinity as n tends to infinity. Therefore, p is not continuous. Therefore, theorem 10.3 does not hold if x is not a Banach space. So, that's all for today.